guys, this is a special edition of the Jay Zador Show. Um, I am. I want to. I want to show you guys my tatas now. <laughs> but um, I'm in Utah and I'm doing American Idol, and um, I'm just blessed to be able to fly out here and do something that a lot of people want to do, but they don't have the money to do. Um, and I just thank God because how I'm getting out here is free. And I just, I just so appreciate my job so much. I just appreciate it. Like, like, like I said, I would, without my job, I wouldn't be able to do it. So I just, I just love my job. Um, and I thank, I thank God. Um, tomorrow is a big day for me. Um, everything, everything feels right, but everything felt right last year and everything felt right the year before last and everything felt right the year before then. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to go off how I feel. I'm just going to go off what it is. I'm not putting all my eggs in the basket. Um, if God said this is my time to get on the American Idol, then it's my time. And if it's not, it's just not. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop, stop pursuing the show because I love the show so freaking much. Um, I just, I'm just excited for tomorrow. I have to get up at 5.30 in the morning. Um, thank God the, uh, the arena is like only not too, it's like a couple of blocks up from, from where I'm at. I'm at the Red Lion Hotel in Salt Lake City, Utah. And, um, it's, like I said, it's, the experience has been amazing. It has. Um, I'm meeting new people. I met this lady. Um, her name is Louise Atkins. Um, I, I want to put the whole government out there like that. Oh, I'm so messy. No, God. But her name is Louise, and she's from the UK. And I met her today. And we had an amazing, amazing conversation about music. She's a music major as well. So um, we had an amazing conversation. And, um, you know, just, just uh, walking around the the city of Utah. I love the mountains here, but it's not a place I would move to because I think there's a lot of meth heads that live here. No shade. Um, and then there's just a, it's just a lot. Um, um, no. I thank you guys for supporting. Oh yeah, for my love of hip hop little cameo. I thank you guys so much because I got so much love. Like let me tell you from my end because nobody really like a couple people only heard my my side of the story. Um, it's no secret that I'm not a big fan of the show, and I, I, I rarely, rarely watch the show, rarely. And there's no shade to loving hip-hop, I just am not a fan of it. I do love the New York version, but I love the New York version when it had, um, Chrissy and Jim Jones. That's when it was at its best. The New Atlanta version, it's alright, but I'm not, I'm not like a fan of it, like I said. Um, but I am a fan of singing. I am a fan of trying to get on in the music business. So yeah, I went to audition for K. Michelle, and um, she uh, she was so nice. That was like kind of surprising because I've heard about her, but like I heard she's very um, abrasive. So I was abrasing myself, um, depending depending on how her attitude was. Cause bitch, you're not gonna read me. You're not. You just. You just can't. You just won't. I'm an extra, extra. Read all about you. Um, but she was very nice. Um, and uh, well, let me tell you about how I found out I was in love with hip hop. Um, my friend Trey Vika, her name is Trey. <laughs> she called me and she goes, Manny. Um, and mind you, I didn't like. I said I didn't know anything about it prior. So she goes, Manny, why am why are you one loving hip hop? And as soon as she said that, everybody, like everybody, came out the woodworks like ants. It's, it seemed like as soon as she ended her sentence, it just seemed like people who I haven't talked to in years was hitting me up on Facebook. Um, people were talking about it on Instagram, and um, so many people was like hitting me up, like, "Oh my God, I seen you!" And then when I got to work the next day, like it was funny because it was this Jamaican guy, and he was like, um, he was like. Uh, he was like, "Hey, I saw you on Scrappy Shoe," and I was like, <laughs> "I was like, oh, okay." I, it's weird because I don't want to. I don't want to ever answer the question. I don't, I, I don't want to ever answer the like. I don't want to ever like sound like I don't. I don't know what to say when people say they see you on TV. You know what I mean? I've never. I've never been on a national 
show before, so shit, I don't know how to like you know how to respond to people. So I was just like, I was just like, oh okay, cool. Like you know what I mean. I hope nobody never took it negative. Or like when I would write people back on Facebook and people would talk to me about it, I would just be like, okay, cool. Like, like I mean, it's not like they showed me singing or showed me talking, but it was just like. You know what I mean? It was just like, like, oh, like okay, like I don't, I still don't even know what to say. Like, I, but I do appreciate all the love and everybody bringing it up, and people are like, oh my god, I, I, I know somebody who was on TV, and that's pretty much everybody's reaction and opinion to it. So that's what it's really about. Um, people are just excited to finally see somebody on the TV show that they watch. So. It seems like it looks like the pool is closed. Um, so, and I bet I had this camera so close up to my face, y'all. But I'm sorry. Um, get over it. <laughs> um, but hopefully, you know, uh, if it's in God's will for me tomorrow to advance on American Idol. Oh, um, no, I'm not gonna talk about that yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that yet. Um, but if it's if it's in God's will for me to advance on American Idol tomorrow, then it's it's in His will. And if it's not, it's not. But I know that I'm not going to give up. And I know that I'm not going to stop. Because just like that sign said right there. This red lion. Ain't giving up. 